Hi, and how's it going, music producers? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we can cook up some amazing beats without using any VST plugins this time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use two websites, oneshots.io and midifriend.com. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Here's what the beat sounded like when finished. Now let me show you step by step how I created it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to find some one shots on oneshots.io. It's our brand new website that we released. Um, on here we can audition some of the sounds. So there's a hi-hat, a snare, kick, a really dope synth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that and turn it into a playable instrument. That's going to be fire. An 808. And a brass horn. Let's go ahead and download that brass horn real quick. Perfect. We'll click download and I'll as well download all the rest of the one shots and let's go ahead and start making this beat. Now that we have those one shots downloaded, let's go ahead and find some MIDI. So we're going to go to midifriend.com. We'll click on Gucci main type and let's find some Gucci main type MIDI. I like this one right here. What's awesome about MIDI Friend is that all of these progressions are 100% royalty free. And since it's MIDI, I plan to change that sound. Let me show you guys. Let's go ahead and download that really quick. Perfect. We'll click download. And now that we have that MIDI, let's get to work. So now we should have that MIDI file as well as all of our one shots that we plan to use in this beat. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. We'll start off with that uh, video game synth. Let's drag that into our Tau sampler, which we'll use. Down here, there's a couple settings that I like to use with our Tau sampler. Let's go ahead and adjust here the poly 12. Let's see, let's go ahead now and adjust the clean. That's perfect. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that one shot sample right into this section here. So let's show you guys how to do that. So we're going to go find that video game synth and drag it right onto it. Perfect. Now what I like to do is turn it into a playable instrument and I don't want it to just cut off and end here. So what I like to do is adjust this loop point and what we're going to do is adjust the start. The end looks good and let's adjust this crossfade. So now when I hold down the key. You see it continues to loop. So now let's go ahead next. Now that we have that one shot synth in there, let's go ahead and drag in the MIDI that we plan to use. So let's, here's that Gucci Mane MIDI. And remember that that MIDI progression was playing with a harp. Let's hear what it sounds like on that synth. Okay, so I can already hear that it's a little too high for my standards. So what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of sound design and we're going to adjust this tune. Let's drop it down one octave. Let's add some reverb. We'll keep the wetness around about there and let's adjust the wetness on the delay as well. Let's hear what let's hear what we got. really liking that. So let's go ahead now and drag in some of the other one shots and let's get started making this beat. Um, I have the progression playing there. We'll put our drums on pattern two. Let's do that. So let's start dragging in some of these one shots. Let's drag in this tiny kick. Boom. And I'll go ahead and place them in a couple of those. We'll, we'll add some more kicks onto there as well. But let's drag in next the snare. Voila, just like that. And let's drag in the hi-hat. Perfect. Right there. Let's add some hi-hats in here. Let's see, we'll just use this two-step. What we could do is we could even just continue to add those in there. That looks good. We'll add these snares. Let's hear back what we got. Let's 
What I'm going to do next is I'm going to remove the start points from these. Perfect. Or the loop points. Like that, we're just keeping it real simple. Okay, so now that we got some drums going on in there, let's go ahead now and hear what it sounds like all together. Okay, so let's go ahead next and add an 808 in there. So let's download the 808 now. Here it is, boom. It's an 808 Mafia type sub. So let's go ahead and download that. Got it. And now that we downloaded it, let's go ahead and just drag and drop it in. Boom, just like that. That's what I think I'm gonna do is right there. So let's go ahead and um, start recording. Just like that, so now our 808's in there. And what we could do is we can go down here to tools, let's quick quantize it, and let's hear back what we, what we have so far. Alright, I like that. Let's go to number four and what we're going to do is add um, some horns in there. So let's see, this is a Latin trap kind of beat so let's get some, some horns going on. Let's go back, I know we downloaded that one shot right here. So we got a mariachi horn. Let's go ahead and... Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drag that horn into there. Perfect. And let's turn this into a playable instrument. I'm going to adjust these loop points just a little bit so that this horn keeps playing. Add some crossfade. Let's go ahead and have it on clean. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm adjust this uh, polyphonic. Let's adjust the poly to 12. And let's add some reverb. And let's add some delay. Let's go ahead now and record. Perfect. Now I heard some of the notes that I played, the timing wasn't perfect, so we'll go ahead and quantize that and let's hear it back. Just like that, you made a beat without using any VSTs. All you need is OneShots.io and MidiFriend.com. Enjoy. Please like and subscribe to this video to help us grow the channel. Go ahead and subscribe to OneShots and MidiFriend.com. Thank you.